Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben, and well, today we're back with another frequently asked question here. And today we're gonna to be talking about how synthetic motor oil works and kind of how it compares to conventional oil. Today we're gonna to be giving up some really good secrets. I'm personally not a mechanic, so I can give up all the secrets. All right, we're gonna start off with our synthetic oil. This is what it would look like basically under a microscope. We're doing a nice uh, theoretical. This is super clear. We're gonna make it as simple as possible. So right here, we got these spheres. They're very pure. They're very uh, regular shaped. They're all almost exactly the same. And this would demonstrate and be our synthetic oil. So we got two pieces of cardboard here. One is gonna be a, a piece of metal, say a bearing. And then this is gonna be the wall of the bearing right here. Now these are nice brand new uh, pieces. We're gonna go ahead and stick a good film on here. And now we're gonna do a little wear test. So we're gonna put the oil, which is the beads right here. And then we got our sandwich metal here. And we're gonna rub it nice and hard, just like that. And take a look. We're gonna see if there's any wear. And look, absolutely no wear to either piece. So now we're on to our conventional motor oil. We got two bearings. We got both sides are brand new, nice and fresh. We're gonna throw one side down, throw some conventional oil, all irregular shaped molecules because they're just refined crude oil. You can only, only get it so uh, clean where synthetic oil is built. So now we're gonna try this wear test. Same exact thing. There we go, boom like this and look sounds a little rougher a little bit more friction if you will so now we're going to take a look what we got we got a little bit of wear scars so now we're going to show what that actually looks like all right come on over take a look let me show you in a little more detail what we're talking about here so this is kind of like a conventional slash full synthetic that's what the bearings look like you'll see all those wear scars and then this would be like 100% synthetic. So you'll see the significant difference. So that would be the mineral oil and that would be the synthetic. Basically, there's no wear scars. Now I wanted to give the secret. So now for the secret, the secret is right here. What the big oil companies don't tell you is this, the uh, actual full synthetic, which is like a mobile one, a lot of people think that's 100% synthetic, but it's not. It's actually a synthetic blend. So what a synthetic blend is, what would you say that is? Well, it's just some of these perfect molecules right here, these beads like that, but they're mixed in with all these other jagged molecules, different shapes, different sizes. Well, that's what comes in most cars from the factory. They call it a full synthetic. Now, I don't wanna bore you with a whole lot of technical jargon, but these are the different groups of oils, and you can actually pause this and read those. Those are the five groups of uh, motor oil, and that is called the base stock. And that's what the primary amount of the lubricant is, is the base stock, about 80%. Then there's other additives that are added to the lubricant that give it different properties, like better cold starting. Stands for, say, the 5W30, that's the winter weight which I'll go ahead and throw a video on about viscosity right up here in the corner. So now we're on to another categorization right here. I'm gonna take a look and show exactly what this looks like on a graph of oil volatility and how the oil burns off, which we're gonna go ahead and put a video right here in the corner about oil burning, check that out. Now that's the difference between the different oils. You can see the 100% synthetic Amsoil has a, a huge difference almost double uh, the mobile one, which we just mentioned. So you can take a look and pause this. Synthetic, the differences from synthetic, the differences from conventional, and then the synthetic blend. And then of course, a lot of people want to know about high mileage, which that's in that oil burning video up here in the corner. I hope you're really enjoying this content. If you are, definitely subscribe. Go ahead and tap the notification bell. That way you'll be able to come back and watch a lot of other videos just like this. You know, so often I'm asked, will synthetic oil mix with conventional oil? And well, of course it will. Take a look. This is synthetic, uh, full synthetic. And look, it's got the synthetic 
it's got the mineral oil all mixed in. So that's what a full synthetic is. It's half synthetic and half mineral oil. And another frequently asked question I'm always asked is, will this uh, synthetic oil make my car leak? Well, I'll stick a video to that right up here in the corner. And I also want to give up another secret. A lot of people always say, well, why don't mechanics recommend this AMS oil? Why do uh, people say it's no good? And they say all these things. Well, if you owned a business and you had less business coming in to repair an engine, I mean, would you want to give up that secret? I mean, when you consider the cleanliness of pistons, less wear on all the metal, like I showed uh, with the uh, bearings and stuff like that, I mean, would that be something you'd want to give up, that secret? Hey, I hope you loved this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. Share it with a friend that's on their journey of uh, learning a lot more about this synthetic oil. You know, I also wanted to mention loving and giving makes life worth living. That's why I do my end of month giveaway every last Saturday of the month. So at the end of the month, I give hundreds of dollars in gift cards away and all kinds of other really cool prizes. So if you want to be in that giveaway, go ahead and leave a comment within the first 30 minutes of this upload. Leave it down there. I personally get in there and I randomly select people. Check out this video right here. This is Will Amsoil Void Your Warranty. I get asked that a lot. YouTube wants you to check out this video right here. And well, cheers to protection, protection, protection. We'll see you next time back on Synthetic Oil Protection.